like second baking soda wash. Still, still a full chunk. Hopefully. All right, this is the first time I've attempted to restore a golf cart battery. Um, we've done two baking soda baths with water, which boiled all the acid and neutralized acid in the battery, boiled out a bunch of trash that we showed earlier. Um, this is the 15th time I've filled this battery and dumped it. I want you to see how much trash is still coming out of here. We're going to clean the concrete around it. All this trash shorts up the plates. Hard to see with all that discoloration coming out of that battery. All this came out of that battery. Keep doing it till it's clear. And then we'll fill it up with either acid or salt-based electrolyte. All right, we have done the baking soda flush, water hose flush. You can see that we have significantly cleaned the plates in this battery. almost want to put acid back in it but this project we're gonna do 12 ounces of Epsom salt per one gallon of distilled water so we're gonna fill this battery up and put it on trickle charge all right this battery has been flushed with baking soda it has the Epsom salt solution in the battery now we just hooked up our first charge uh, 10 amps starting to pull 3 amps so this is better than we were when we started go from here and see if we can bring it back all right so when this battery was put on a charger for an hour it wouldn't didn't even have enough power to turn our tester on it's been on charge for three amps for 10 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and run our first test on this to see if we have any progress we'll just call it 445 cranking amps for charge okay that's our stats let's see what happens in a day or two all right, this is a good test that proves that the Epsom salt is a good electrolyte. And it'll also show us that the cells are, are not shorted or they're not open. Just by sticking the leads in the water, it should be two volts per cell. So these are 1.6. So that's what the charger on, but all the cells look like they're connected. They're not shorted, so let's let it ride. All right, we did 30 minutes on the dumb charger. I'm gonna have to switch it over to the battery mender. It's got a desulfator feature, and it'll give us a better indication on the condition of the battery. Right now it's saying rejected, battery weak, charging at eight amps, sealed battery. All right, this is the last video for today. Battery mender, we have come off rejected. We're at the first battery mark for charging. Still says battery weak. We're gonna run a quick test for stats. One thing I want to show everybody about this uh, battery mender, it has this desulfating feature. And right now it's quiet enough we can hear it. I'm going to break this connection slightly so you can hear the poles. When we started with this battery, even after an hour charge, it didn't have enough power to even turn on the tester. Uh, now we can run a test. That's our current stats after an hour on the battery tender. Still no life. Resistance has come down. Voltage has come up. So let's leave it overnight to be continued. <laughs>